Number 6. Gilbert Espat Spear fisherman Gilbert Espat was the victim of a vicious barracuda attack while he was out on a reef in Belize. It had begun like any other fishing trip. At around 6 a.m., Espat and some of his friends were at the Esmeralda dive site just outside the reef. At one point, he noticed a four-foot barracuda. Espat hit it once with his spear gun and repositioned himself for a second shot as he saw the fish going down. He was getting ready to fire the gun, but then the barracuda jolted towards Espat's face. The man reacted quickly and covered his head with his right arm. He then felt two bites tearing through his wetsuit and into his limb. Espat managed to swim to the boat, where his friends helped tend to his wounds. The fisherman arrived at the hospital with four massive lacerations in his biceps and triceps. He required sutures on three layers of tissue to fix the damage. Nevertheless, the doctors told Espat he'd been fortunate. The barracuda had missed major arteries in his arm, which could have caused more serious blood loss. Next up, a TV producer almost gets struck by a flying barracuda and a nine-year-old girl nearly loses a hand in an attack. But first, let's learn more about these vicious fish. Barracudas are ray-fin fish belonging to Cipharina, the only genus in the Cipharinidae family. They have a serpent-like build with white belly silvery sides and dark gray, blue or dark green on their upper bodies. Some species, such as the great barracuda, can grow to be nearly 7 feet long and weigh over 100 pounds. The record for the heaviest barracuda caught on rod and reel was set in Angola in 2013. The river monster was a Guinean barracuda and it weighed roughly 102 pounds. Barracudas have long, pointed heads and large powerful jaws, with many species presenting an underbite that projects forward menacingly. Strong, fang-like teeth of different sizes are set in the jaw sockets and on the roof of their mouth. These fish are fast and dynamic. Their torpedo-like bodies enable them to dart through the water in bursts of up to 27 miles per hour. They have a reputation of being dangerous to swimmers and divers to whom they can cause severe injury and even death. Number 5. Kevin Favor Kevin Favor, a TV producer for a show called Tales from the Outdoors, was nearly flattened by a 40-pound barracuda which went flying at his head. In May 2012, Favor was in a charter boat, fishing off the coast of Florida. Unbeknownst to him, a marine monster had got caught on his line. His rod bent as he tried to pull the fish towards the boat. That's when the massive barracuda launched itself out of the water. Favor barely managed to avoid the incoming mass of razor-sharp teeth and the fish landed inside the boat. It began to flop around violently, at which point Favor used a gaff to throw it back in the ocean. A video of the incident became viral on YouTube, with over 3,100,000 views. Favor claimed that in over 28 years of charter fishing, he'd never gone through such a shocking experience. Number 4. Michelle Casasola Nine-year-old Michelle Casasola was snorkeling in the Florida Keys in the summer of 2010. She and other children were feeding bagels to the fish so that they could get a closer look at them. Suddenly, the child felt pain in her hand. She initially thought that someone else had kicked her by accident. Her mother then noticed the barracuda swim away. The woman subsequently saw that blood had started gushing out of her daughter's hand. The child started screaming in agony. The barracuda had torn away a large piece of her palm. Casasola was rushed to a local emergency room and then transferred to the Miami Children's Hospital. She underwent a six-hour surgery to fix the extensive damage that the barracuda had inflicted on her palm. Pediatric plastic surgeons had to take a nerve from her leg in order to save her hand. Our next listing is about a teenager who's left fighting for his life after an attack. But before we get to it, let's see where these fish are located. Barracudas can be found in tropical and subtropical waters all over the world. These include the tropical regions of the Pacific Ocean, the western edges of the Caribbean Sea, 
and the eastern border of the Atlantic Ocean to the Red Sea. They tend to prefer habitats close to the shore and reside near the top of the water in coral reefs, mangroves, and seagrass beds. While barracudas are primarily marine fish, some species will also venture into brackish waters. Adults and aging fish tend to be solitary, but younger fish are known to form packs. This allows them to better hunt schools of plankton feeding fish. A barracuda's array of prey includes, among others, snappers, mullets, groupers, and herrings. The fish will use its strong jaws to simply bite these fish in half. Some of the fish species that barracudas target can be as large as themselves, and they'll even compete with dolphins for food. Number 3. Parker King 13-year-old Parker King and his father were fishing off the coast of Port Orange, Florida, when a brutal barracuda attack nearly claimed his life. They'd spotted the fish and Parker's father believed it would be a fun little fight. Unfortunately, it would soon turn into a desperate race to save his son's life. Within seconds, the barracuda leapt out of the water and started biting into the teen's arm and chest. They were about 20 miles from the shore and there was no cell phone reception, so they couldn't call for help. Owen King wrapped a towel around Parker's arm and chest. He then turned to shore at full speed, with the barracuda still in tow at the back of his small fishing boat. His main fear was that Parker would bleed to death. They arrived at the hospital in time and, after a number of stitches, Parker was heading towards a full recovery. Next, we're going to take a look at how barracudas can kill you and later on we'll go over an attack that punctured a woman's lung and broke her ribs. Barracuda's attacks are rather rare and usually the result of poor visibility and misidentification. They do, however, own a number of terrifying features that make them a danger to humans. The most obvious of these is their vicious bite. Barracudas rely on speed to overtake their prey and then they start ripping into it using their jaw strength and sharp teeth. They are hard to detect, particularly when viewed head on, because of their silvery elongated bodies. As humans enter the water, an attacking barracuda will tear chunks of flesh out of them. This can result in deep gashes and blood loss. Depending on the area of the body where the bite occurred, it can lead to the victim losing consciousness and drowning. A bite on the neck, for example, can be deadly. So are bites which can sever other major arteries in the arms or legs. Because of their size and speed, barracudas are basically the animal equivalent of a torpedo. Therefore, exceptionally large specimens can also hit people with considerable force. This may happen even if they're in a boat as barracudas are known to leap out of the water, particularly when they get hooked. Eating barracuda can lead to Cigatera food poisoning. Toxic plankton species become attached to reef algae and are then consumed by herbivorous fish. These fish become prey themselves and the chain continues all the way to the barracuda. Through bioaccumulation, each successful predator increases the amount of ciguatoxin the barracuda will ingest. While harmless for the fish, it's quite dangerous to humans. Ciguatera food poisoning can cause weakness, vomiting, diarrhea, muscle pain, and even hallucinations. The symptoms can last for weeks or months, and there really isn't an antidote or specific treatment for poisoning once it occurs. The risk of death is about 1 in 1,000 cases. Number 2. Carrie Larson In 2011, Carrie Larson and boyfriend Michael Hinoisa were kayaking in the Florida Keys. As they were paddling through the mangroves in a two-seat kayak, a barracuda jumped out of the water and struck Larson. It knocked her out of the kayak. The sheer force of the impact broke the woman's ribs and punctured her lung. She was out of breath, but her boyfriend reacted quickly and covered the wound with his hand, making it airtight. Hinoisa called the emergency services and the operator asked them which part of the coastline they would be pulling into. The man replied that he couldn't paddle anywhere since he needed to keep applying pressure on his girlfriend's ribs. Unfortunately, they were in such shallow waters that the Coast Guard couldn't reach them. Tugboat captain Kevin Freestone volunteered to help the couple. He spoke to Hinoisa on the phone who told him, you need to save a life today. 
Over the course of the next half an hour, Larson clung to life as she'd lost a lot of blood. She later said that she'd thought about her daughter, who was getting married, and how she needed to walk her down the aisle. Freestone drove his boat through the mangroves and found the couple. He took them to the marina and Larson was airlifted to a Miami hospital. The woman survived her ordeal. She spent nine days in the intensive care unit to recover from shattered ribs and a punctured lung. Let's see what you can do to survive a barracuda attack and after that, we'll go over an incident that left one teen's arm looking like a raw hamburger. Before we move on, official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. It's out of this world. Barracudas rely heavily on their eyesight when hunting and are attracted to objects in the water that have an unusual movement, color, or reflection. Objects that glint or shine may trigger an attack as the barracuda will mistake it for prey. So if you plan to swim in waters known for the presence of barracudas, try to carry a limited amount of objects with highly reflective properties. Touching or hand feeding a large barracuda is never a good idea since it might react defensively. Spear fishing around barracudas should also be undertaken with great caution. They might be attracted to the injured creatures and attack you as well. If you do happen to get bit, depending on the severity of the injury, one of the first steps to take is limiting blood loss. Wrap the wound and keep pressure on it until you get to land. You may require stitches to fix the gashes and medication to deal with the pain. To prevent ciguatera poisoning, it's best to avoid eating barracuda altogether, since it's labeled as a high-risk reef fish. Conventional cooking won't destroy ciguatoxin as it's stored in the fat of the fish. However, if you decide to do it, avoid consuming large barracudas. If you are diagnosed with ciguatera food poisoning, medicines such as Neurontin and Elevil can be used to treat some of the symptoms. Today's video was requested by Slow Down. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 1. Coral Wirra Coral Wirra was left with deep gashes in her arm after a barracuda attack that took place on her family's boat. At the time, the 14-year-old was fishing with her family in the Gulf of Mexico. The barracuda took her father's shark bait, then jumped teeth first more than three feet out of the water. The family later said that it was as fast as a bullet. The four-foot barracuda sunk its teeth repeatedly into the girl's arm, leaving it, as her family described, looking like a raw hamburger. Wira's father, afraid for her life, took a fillet knife and stabbed the fish in the head, killing it. The teenager had sustained multiple bites from her elbow to her wrist. She was taken to a hospital where she got 51 stitches to close the deep gashes. Thanks for watching. Would you rather get attacked by a barracuda or run naked through a cactus field? Let us know in the comments section below.